Recently, Max and Min were asked by their dad to help him out. I have three different buckets in the garage, he said, but I don't know which bucket is the biggest. Please find out while I do a few jobs for mum. And then their dad went inside. How will we work out which bucket is the biggest, Min? asked Max. After a short discussion, Max and Min decided that the biggest bucket is the one that can hold the most stuff. They were thinking of things like sand or pebbles or water. They decided it would be easiest to use water, so they took the three buckets to the garden tap. First, they filled the orange bucket with water until it was full to the top. Then they poured this water from the orange bucket into the yellow bucket until the yellow bucket was full. There was still some water left in the orange bucket. So Max, this must mean the orange bucket holds more water than the yellow bucket. Because the yellow bucket is full even though the orange bucket still has some water left in it. Yes, Min, this proves the orange bucket is definitely bigger than the yellow bucket. Now let's fill the orange bucket again and compare it with the black bucket. So they poured more water from the tap into the orange bucket until it was full to the top again. Max poured this water from the orange bucket into the black bucket. This time, all the water in the orange bucket poured out until it was completely empty and the black bucket was now completely full to the top. So Min, this proves that the black bucket and the orange bucket, even though different shapes, hold exactly the same amount of water. That is, they have the same volume or capacity. Let's go and tell Dad. See if you can find three different empty plastic containers at home and pour water between them to find out which is the biggest. You might even find two containers that have a different shape but still hold the same amount of water. You can watch this video again or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.